Hello, everybody. Um, exciting day on Sunday for so many reasons. Uh, senior day, um, as well as it will be the last time that we play in Memorial Coliseum as it stands. We're super excited about uh, the renovations and um, the renderings look amazing. Our players are excited. I know the fans are excited. Um, we look forward to having people come see us next year in a different location. Excited about that too, but it's top secret right now. But I think everybody will be uh, pleasantly uh, happy uh, with our game experience um, next year. And when you think about Senior Day, it's always an emotional time, a uh, bittersweet time, trying to cherish uh, the last moments uh, with your seniors if you have, as you have so many memories with them. Uh, first, I'll start out with Addie. Man, she has been an unbelievable uh, addition to our program. Her energy is contagious. Um, she might be the loudest player I've ever coached, but I love it. Literally, we can be sitting in a film room having a staff meeting, and we can hear her talking in the locker room. And she'll turn the corner, and she was like, I just have a big mouth, coach. That We're just loud. And um, But... Her work ethic, uh, her winning mentality and ways. Uh, but one thing I want to share, I haven't told a lot of people this. Uh, we were recruiting Addie, and I thought she was just slow playing me because I was like, I know the visit was great, couldn't get a yes from her. And she kept saying, I'll let you know, coach, I'll let you know. And then finally she called me, and she was fighting back the tears. She said, I didn't want to say yes to Kentucky because I was playing pickup last week and I hurt my shoulder and I was waiting on the results coach. She was like, because I wanted you to know exactly what you were getting. And I understand if you don't want to take me because I'm hurt and I only have one year left. And I was like, I want to take you even more. And, but that just goes to show what kind of person um, that she is. And then there's Robin, Showtime Benton. I call her Showtime. She's, she calls herself prime time, but uh, that's showtime to me. Uh, we have been extremely uh, blessed to have her in our program. Uh, wouldn't be an SEC champion uh, without her and what she has done this year. Uh, she became the one and she has stepped up to the challenge. Um, so love having her in our program, forever grateful. And then uh, last but not least, our Kentucky girl through and through, uh, Blair Green. It feels like yesterday that Coach Mitchell and I were sitting in the home visit. And we were like, you think we can get a commitment from Blair? And we're eating desserts. And she goes, hey, guys, I'm coming to Kentucky. So it's just like yesterday. Can't believe she's a senior, but um, a Kentucky kid um, that believed in us when things weren't uh, going like they should be. Um, and for her to want to wear the Kentucky the Kentucky Jersey, uh, forever loyal um, uh, to her for what she's brought. So Senior Day is big. That's where our focus is. We're going to pour into them, and let's make it a magical day in Memorial Coliseum. You mentioned Blair and what that's like. And do you have, it, as we come down the stretch here, do you have it grab the seniors one-on-one -on -one or collectively say whatever you want to say to them? I mean, you're, you're in constant communication with them. Um, you know, you're always hugging them and talking to them. You're meeting with them as a group, individual. Um, but right now, the staff, team, I just told everybody, let's cherish the moment. Let it, let's relish in the moment um, because they play a big part of what we do, and um, I don't want to miss a moment with them. After Blair went down last year, was there a concern that she might not want to tough it out and come back for another year? And what did it mean? No, that was not a moment because when we were carrying Blair off the floor, this is a this is why you love your Kentucky girls, just tough as nails. We're carrying her off the floor, and she said, uh, "Coach, I think I just need to uh, take my ankle up a little more. I'm going back in." And I was like, "No, ma'am, you're not going back in, and you need more than tape." But she was like, "No, I just think I need to um, tighten my tape up. I'm going back in." I was like, "You are not going in." And so she laid on the table, mad as I don't know what, and she goes. Did I end on a make? Did I make the shot? I said, you made the shot. She was like, at least I want to end on a make. So that's what you love about her. Uh, probably an hour later, I go to the training room. She's laying in there with Ron Howard. They're crying along with the team. And she said, 
well, if I can't practice tomorrow, I might as well go to the weight room and start working on that. And I was like, you hadn't thought about surgery yet, but she knew she was going to come back. She wanted the moment to come back, worked her tail off uh, to come back forever loyal. Uh, Blair Green has a, I have a soft spot uh, for Blair and I know the people of Kentucky um, do as well for what she has brought to this program. Absolutely. Um, you know, Addie is loyal. She's going to work hard. She's going to do the right thing. She is um, a player that every coach wants to have. Um, but I'm telling you her tenacity. Like if we'll say, Addie, we need to work on our finishing. I was leaving practice the other day. I hear all this commotion. And of course I hear Addie and she was like, and one. And I was like, what is happening? I turned the corner and it's Addie against Carter, one of our managers, who is literally beating her like crazy. And she scored and she's in there talking to him. And then the practice guys are cheering on Carter. Uh, but that's what you love. She wants to work to get better. And it, sh it has shown in a game. You know, uh, Robin, it's so funny when we said we we're going to sign six freshmen. She was like, oh, coach, that's too many. She was like, um, I can't be the second mother. That's going to be Blair. She has more nurturing than I do. She was like, I'm going to be like the rich auntie. She was like, I'm going to give them advice and then give them back uh, to Blair. But, you know, she does it in her own way. Uh, the freshmen love her. So they all gravitated towards her. Um, but she has her way with them, um, whether she pulls them to the side to talk to them. Um, she's going to give them raw, honest answers, but she also wants to help them learn um, and grow. And she stepped up big, not just off the court, on the court. Um, you know, she's never had to be the one. And then all of a sudden we're like, you are the one. And the pressure and scrutiny that comes with that. But she stepped up to the challenge and I'm beyond proud of her for that. You know, Naya, oh man, devastating injury, um, season, season ending. So you never want to see that in any of your players. But when I tell you this is a coach's dream. So we're in the training room and the players don't know yet. Well, they know she hurt her knee, but it wasn't confirmed. And so she's telling everybody they are sobbing, crying, and she is consoling every one of them while they're crying and saying, guys, don't worry about it. I've seen Blair do it. I'm going to work. I'm going to get back with you guys. She's still clapping it up in practice. Um, and I remember when she went down, I grabbed her hand. She doesn't remember. And she wouldn't lay down on the floor. And I was like, Naya, lay down. She's like, I got to get off this floor. And I was like, Naya, please lay down. But her toughness, her resilience, but her positive attitude and zest for life. And we'll, we look forward to having her back. So, so you, sorry, you've got a lot of memories in this place, uh, and obviously with this group that is closing out, does it feel like kind of like a closing of a chapter as you guys get ready for the new chapter of Memorial and obviously transition phase? Yeah, we've had a lot of great memories um, in this building, and along with all the coaches in the past and all the players that played in this building, it truly is an unbelievable place, and it is um, closing of a chapter. Um, and a new chapter will begin with uh, a bright future. And I just want to say, you know, obviously it's a tough time for Kentucky women's basketball right now. Let's make no mistake about it. But as I reflect um, on it, I was telling one of the players, I was like, listen, we're built to last. We're built to last. Um, and I've been with this program for a lot of years. And I've been here with Coach when we were down and out. Uh, for several years, and we've always found our way back, and this this will be no different. And um, we'll lean on each other, resiliency and toughness. But I'll tell you, we are built to last, um, and the future of this program um, is bright.